Author's Preface There was a certain period in my engineering career when I was being invited to meetings that I wasn't supposed to be invited to. I would be sitting with a few of the managers from operations and they would say, Well, go on. What do you think we should do? Beats me. Why was I being invited to these meetings with upper management? My coworkers, who were much more qualified and seasoned in their positions, were just as confused. There came a day when I emailed one of the people who had sent me these invites to ask them what the deal was. I was a junior engineer at the time. Why didn't they ask a senior engineer to attend the meetings? That's when the woman, whose name was Deborah, said, Because you speak in a way where we can understand. Now everything made sense. Operations and the engineers despised each other. Operations felt like the engineers had too much of a technical jargon. Engineers felt that the operations team didn't take their role seriously. Since I was a new employee at the time, I was still moldable. There was enough technical knowledge on my end to be competent, but not too much technical knowledge to sound like a machine. Clarity. It wasn't always like that, though. I learned communication skills in a very informal manner. It was a journey of evolving my personality from being talkative to being shy to being composed. I was talkative when I lived in Bangladesh as a child. By the time I moved to the United States, I suddenly became shy due to the culture shock and a heavy accent in my English. I was shy for the next decade plus. By the time I was wrapping up college, I decided to invest in public speaking and see if there was a shot to change my personality. Luckily, there was. The answer seemed so simple. If you can talk to 50 people with ease, then five people should feel like light work. I went from being a newbie in my public speaking club of Toastmasters to soon being the recruitment chair, to a mentor, to the external vice president. Throughout my journey, I was part of three different clubs for a while, soaking up as much knowledge as I could. The people who were ahead of me taught me deeper insights into public speaking. The people who were behind me taught me deeper insights into speech anxiety. I decided that I wanted to jot down the insights of my public speaking journey on a public forum so others could learn alongside me. That's when, on June 2018, I started the Armani Talks Twitter page. This page started off as a hobby. There was a day when I got a DM from a man in Australia who said he had a best man speech coming up. He wanted my help crafting the speech and managing his speech anxiety. He said he'd pay me. I thought he was bluffing. Until I saw the PayPal notification hit. On that day, I learned that Armani Talks was not only a hobby but it also had the chance to become a business. As years have passed by, the insights created from the company has touched millions of people from all walks of life. The short story-styled content has helped men, women, teens with their speech anxiety, social anxiety, shyness, mumbling issues, cracking voice and other communication quirks. I nowadays give back to the engineering community, by teaching awkward engineers the art of writing clearly and delivering a PowerPoint presentation without reading word-for-word word off the slides. Also, I help introverted entrepreneurs turn on the camera and microphone and hit record so they can finally launch their YouTube channels and podcasts. It's never as bad as the limiting beliefs make you think. Plus, I work with people who are moving from overseas and help them fine-tune their accent so they can rock their voice and deliver their message with the utmost confidence. Throughout these past few years, I can confidently say that my path towards honing communication skills has been far from normal. I never got a bachelor's or master's degree in this field. My knowledge was from the School of Hard Knocks. The Armani Talks company is geared towards serving a small niche, never the masses. This was not by design, it just ended up happening that way. I often see messages like, I trust you, 
because you're different. A foreign kid from a hard skills field teaching soft skills? Yeah, sounds different to me. Speakeasy is a framework to help anyone who is struggling with communication to learn the three A's. They'll learn how to be articulate, assertive, and audacious. There'll be plenty of frameworks in this book you probably never heard of. You'll Google it and be like, I can't find more information on this framework. That's because I'm an engineer, remember? We invent things. In this book, you'll be given new tools and new frameworks, which will allow you to view communication skills in a brand new light. A light will now blaze in a place that was once dark. See the truth once, and it's impossible to unsee it.